Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Sarasati Deve Kauravani Precharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Vancha Kaupa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare So this evening we're going to look at chapter number six, 16 of Bhagavad Gita Chapter 16 means the divine and the demoniac natures. Go ahead. Mm. We'll see. Lord Krishna begins with a description of the divine nature. You can see many different qualities listed, and these different qualities uh, relate to uh, depending on the individual's ashram. Some one quality, for example, the first one, abhayam, that's a quality for a sannyasi. นี่นะคะก็จะเป็นคุณเป็นธรรมชาติทิพย์นะคะแล้วแต่ละคุณสมบัติที่กล่าวไว้นะทีนี้เนี่ยก็ขึ้นอยู่กับเอ่อวรร
ความสุขทางโลกวัตถุนะแล้วก็ความสุขทางโลกวัตถุนี้โดยทั่วไปก็หมายถึงความสุขทางเพศสัมพันธ์ที่จะมีกันในเชิงชัดชายนำไปยิงค่ะ Then next quality cultivation of knowledge again also for sannyasis sannyasis are meant to and have knowledge and they're meant to give that knowledge to householders sannyasis are meant to go to the householders and teach them help them to awaken their Krishna consciousness. Householders can get very entangled in their material responsibilities, taking care of their home and their children, their fat relatives, and so they may forget about Krishna. So the sannyasis are there to remind them. The next quality is charity. That's meant for grihastas. They're meant to be in the mode of goodness, but they're meant to give charity to the proper person at the right time and the right place. The next item, self-control, is meant for everyone, especially for grihastas. And the principle is that in family, in, fa in grihasta life, that the sex is only used to produce Krishna conscious children. And then the next one, sacrifice is meant for the grihastas. Sacrifice and the sacrifice for this age is Sankirtan. The Grihastas are meant to perform regular Kirtan in their home and they'll go to temple, take part in the Kirtan. And then next item is Vedic study. That's meant for the brahmacharis, and this help them to use their mind to study the Vedic literature to understand the philosophy. Brahmachari training is very good. It will give a person a lot of determination and it will help him later in life. If the young man is just a womanizer and just only engaging in sense gratification, then it will not be, he will be, he will become very weak in his determination. Go ahead. All right. Now, some more qualities. And we see these qualities are meant for all of the different ashrams. All of the different ashrams means Brahmachari, Grihastha, Vanaprastha, Sannyasis. Austerity, first of all, is meant for everyone. Austerity means controlling the body, the mind and the tongue. Then next one is 
อาชามควรที่จะมีไม่ว่าจะเป็นบรมจารีกริหัสตาบรรพสตาหรือสัญญาสีนะคะก็คุณสมบัติแรกคือสมถะสมถะเนี่ยทุกคนควรมีก็คือการควบคุมร่างกายจิตใจแล้วก็ลิ้นนะการกินอันนี้ so the next quality simplicity people should be straightforward they don't have to make everything complicated just be simple and straightforward แล้วก็คุณสมบัติที่สองก็คือการความเรียบง่ายนะคะก็คือควรที่จะอยู่ใช้ชีวิตอยู่แบบเรียบง่ายไม่ควรที่จะทำให้มันซับซ้อน so to be simple and straightforward is the divine quality it's a very good quality it's not something to look down on someone but it's a very good quality อันนี้เป็นคุณสมบัติที่ดีนะไม่ใช่เพราะแบบเป็นคุณสมบัติที่And then next one, non-violent, meant for everyone. Everyone, that every devotee should practice non-violence. That means we should not, we should not stop the progress of any living entity. แล้วก่อนต่อไปก็คือการไม่เบียนเบียนนะคะการไม่เบียนเบียนก็คือการที่แบบว่าไม่เบียนเบียนสิ่งมีชีวิตอื่นอื่นนะก็คือ When we kill animals, then we stop them from progressing to higher forms of life. So it's not it's not good. So we should not a devotee should never be violent. แล้วก็ถ้าเกิดว่าเราเนี่ยอยากจะฆ่าสัตว์เราก็ไม่ต้องไม่ส่งเสริมการฆ่าค่ะเพราะว่าสัตว์เนี่ยจะไม่จะไม่ส่งเสริมการฆ่า Next quality, truthfulness. We should. We should. Everyone should keep the truth. We don't want to tell lies. We want to speak the truth. People sometimes tell lies just for their own benefit, and some people even even try to change the message of Bhagavad Gita for their own benefit. สาวเนี่ยจะไม่โกหกแต่ว่าบางคนเนี่ยจะอาจจะแบบว่าพยายามโกหกอย่างเช่นผู้คนเนี่ยเขาพยายามจะเปลี่ยนความหมายของภาควัตคิตา The next freedom from anger so devotees should control anger even if even if somebody does something very nasty or very wrong to us we should tolerate we shouldn't get angry ประสมบัติต่อไปก็คือปราศจากความโกรธอ่าเออหรือว่าควบคุมความโกรธได้นั่นเองเวลาใครมาทําอะไรใส่เราที่ไม่ดีเนี่ยเราก็จะมีความอดทนโดยที่ไม่โกรธแค้นอะไรเขา So anger is anger comes from passion and lust so we want to avoid it ความโกรธเนี่ยมาจากระดับตัณหาแล้วก็ราคะ Okay next one renunciation Renunciation means to use everything in the service of Krishna. And ต่อไปนะคะก็คือการเสียสละนั่นเองนะการเสียสละนั้นมันหมายความว่าอะไรหมายความว่าการที่เราเนี่ยใช้ทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างไปในการรับใช้ Krishna. For a devotee, we don't give up things, but we use them for the service of Krishna. สำหรับสาวกแล้วเนี่ยเราจะไม่ยกเลิกการปฏิบัตินะแต่เราจะใช้ทุกสิ่งทุกอย่างไปเพื่อเป็นการรับใช้กิจการ Then tranquility we should be peaceful we should keep the mind controlled แล้วก็ความสงบอ่าคือควบคุมจิตใจแล้วก็มีความสงบ Go ahead Go ahead Okay, aversion to fault finding. We shouldn't unnecessarily find fault. Some people just find fault and complain, but we should be tolerant. คือการไม่จับผิดนะคะเออจะไม่จะไม่แบบว่าจับผิดผู้อื่น Then compassion for everyone. We should give the holy name to everyone. We should give. We should be willing to give prasadam everywhere. And give knowledge to everyone wherever possible. Next one, freedom of covetousness. 
means we shouldn't be we shouldn't claim this is mine and be greedy we, we should be charitable and we should renounce and be detached then gentleness we should be friendly to every all living entities see all living entities like our family members then modesty we should be humble don't do don't do nasty things be polite and behave properly be steady in determination don't get agitated or frustrated and then vigor this is a quality for kshatriyas the managers they have to be very vigor vigorous they have to be able to give protection to others Go ahead. Okay, then forgiveness. This is for everyone, especially Kshatriyas. They have to forgive people, even if they do a little, if somebody does a little thing, we shouldn't make a, we shouldn't grudge, we shouldn't be nasty to them, we should forgive them. Then fortitude, this for everyone again, especially Kshatriyas, and the meaning is we should, we should control our mind and emotions when facing difficult situations. Don't get put off, just keep, remain calm. Next one, next one is cleanliness. That's for everyone, especially the Vaishyas. And cleanliness means internally, the body and mind, and externally also dealing with the, the things, our dress and so on, dealing with others, how we deal, we should be clean. Then freedom from envy for everyone, it means don't be don't be resentful of another. Don't envy, or oh, somebody's got something I don't have. Don't make an issue of it. Just accept somebody's maybe more fortunate than we are. And finally, freedom from passion for honor for everyone, especially sudras. They should respect others. Okay, go ahead. All right, the text number four. Now we. We, we, we've seen the divine qualities, this is the demonic qualities. So pride, arrogance, conceit, anger, harshness and ignorance. These qualities belong to those of demonic nature or son of God. Uh, 
และอวิชาคุณสมบัติเหล่านี้เป็นของพวกที่มีธรรมธรรมชาติมาโอโอรสพระนามพิถา So we have to be very careful of these things: pride, arrogance, conceit, anger, harshness, and ignorance. We want to remember them and make sure we avoid these qualities. Go ahead. Okay, sixteen five. The transcendental qualities are conducive to liberation, whereas the demonic qualities make for bondage. Do not worry, O son of Pandu, for you are born with the divine quality. คุณสมบัติยิบนำมาซึ่งอิสรภาพหลุดพ้นขณะที่คุณสมบัติมารทำให้ถูกพันธนาการโอโอรสพนังพันโอโอรสแห่งพันหนึ่งไม่ต้องวิตกกังวลเพราะเธอเกิดมาพร้อมกับคุณสมบัติทิพย์ So Lord Krishna is telling Arjuna that you have the divine qualities. Arjuna may be worried because he's going to fight the battle. So he may be thinking he's a demon because he has to get angry and he has to be harsh, but Lord Krishna tells him, "No, you're born with divine qualities." Go ahead. Text number six. O son of Prita, in this world there are two kinds of created beings. One is called divine, and the other demoniac. I have already explained to you at length the divine qualities. Now hear from me. Now hear. From, now hear from me of the demoniac. สองพวกพวกหนึ่งเรียกว่าพวกคนทิพย์และอีกพวกหนึ่งเรียกว่าคนมารข้าได้อธิบายแก่เธอถึงคุณสมบัติทิพย์มามากแล้วบัดนี้จงฟังคุณสมบัติมารจากข้า So we should understand here, Lord Krishna is explaining there's only two natures. There's the divine nature and the demoniac nature. There's nothing in between. If we're not divine, if we're not showing divine qualities, then we're showing demoniac qualities. So now Lord Krishna is going to give some descriptions about the demoniac qualities. Here we see the first number seven, text number seven. For, for those who are demoniac, they do not know what is to be done and what is not to be done. Neither cleanliness, nor proper behavior, nor truth is found in them. And you can see it in this picture. They're taking a scene from Mahabharata, how the Pandavas were forced into a gambling match with Duryodhan and Sakuni, and how they cheated the Pandavas, and they took away all their wealth and all their land, and they even took away their wife at one point. So we should know properly what to do and what not to do. Just like in Krishna consciousness, we say, "Don't eat meat, fish, and eggs. Don't gamble." Don't take intoxication. Don't do illicit sex. 
ราะฉะนั้นเราจะต้องรู้ว่าอะไรควรทําและอะไรไม่ควรทําเหมือนกับในกระชั้นที่สำนึกที่เราจะบอกถึงข้อห้ามที่สิ่งที่ไม่ควรทําก็คือห้ามกินเนื้อสัตว์ไข่ปลาทุกชนิดห้ามม้วนสูงทางเพศสัมพันธ์แล้วก็ห้ามดื่มสิ่งเสพติดแล้วก็ห้ามเล่นการพนัน What should we do? Well, we should take Krishna Prasadam. We should chant Hare Krishna. We should read the Bhagavad Gita. We should do these things. We should worship Krishna. แต่สิ่งที่แนะนำให้ทำก็คือการบูชา Krishna, อ่านบาวด์กิตาบาวด์ตามแล้วก็สวดภาวนาพระนามของเรา So the demons also they have no cleanliness. People, demonic people, they they don't bathe regularly. Even after eating food, they won't wash their hands. And they don't, they don't know how to behave properly. They, they cannot speak nicely. And they don't, they're not truthful. They will, all, they will tell many lies and cheat. Go ahead. Go ahead. Haribo. Yes, good day. Okay, I just got the power cut here. The power went off. Okay, so slogan number thirteen. Yeah, is that the next one? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So Lord Krishna is giving more description about the demonic nature. And particularly interesting to see the the middle verse here in the middle verse it, where it says, "Ishwara ham aham bogi sedo ham balavam suki." Lord Krishna is describing the demonic nature, how the demon thinks, "I am the Ishwara." Mm -hmm. Now, in the verse 13-15, ที่คริสนาที่ท่านทรงบอกนะคะคือพวกมาเนี่ยจะคิดว่าข้าเป็นผู้มีความสุขเกษมสำราญ And then the demon is saying a humbogi I am the enjoyer you think the demonic nature we think everything is for our enjoyment we think all the women are for my enjoyment all the house all the properties for my enjoyment everything's for me to enjoy แล้วก็บอกแล้วเขาเนี่ยจะคิดว่าทั้งหมดเนี่ยทุกสิ่งเนี่ยเขาเป็นเจ้าของแล้วก็ทุกอย่างเนี่ยมันหมายไว้เพื่ออสุกเกษมของเขา And then s i d o h a m I the, the demons thinking also I am I'm perfect I have all powers แล้วก็จะบอกว่าข้าเนี่ยเพอร์เฟกและข้าเนี่ยมีมีพลังทั้งหมด And then Balaban, I'm strong and Suki, I'm happy. So this is it, how the demon thinks. Because of my strength and because of my power, I'm happy. And he's thinking, there's no one happier than me. And sometimes I may even give some charity, and in this way I will rejoice. But in the beginning, also we heard the demon is thinking, is thinking about his money. That I've got so much money today, and I'm going to get more tomorrow. I'm going to lie and cheat people, and I will make money. แล้วก็เขานะคะก็จะมีความที่มีความอยากจะโกงคือเวลาเขาทำอะไรเนี่ยเขาจะคอยหาคนทางในการโกง And if somebody is my enemy, I will just have him killed. No, this is the demonic nature. He's thinking like that. Okay. Go ahead. Okay.
Okay, so more about the demonic nature. Those who are envious and mischievous and who are the lowest among men, I perpetually cast into the ocean of material existence, into various demonic species of life. Attaining repeated birth among the species of demonic life, O son of Kunti, such persons can never approach me. Gradually they sink down to the most abominable type of existence. So these two qualities are mentioned of the demon, envious and mischievous. So Krishna, Krishna puts them into the lowest species of life. Lowest species of life means you become a dog or you become a maybe a shark in the sea or some ferocious creature like that. So I get the body, some people get the body of snakes because snakes they're known to be envious. So if we're very envious of people, then the snake body is given to these envious people. So they, they, these demons, they take birth in these species of life again and again. Because they like it. That's their nature. They actually feel comfortable in that kind of body. Go ahead. Okay. There are three gates leading to the hell. Lust, anger and greed. Every sane man should give these up for they lead to the degradation of the soul. So Lord Krishna was describing the demoniac nature, so now he's telling us how we can avoid the danger of falling into that demonic mentality and becoming a demon. Any, any intelligent person will not want to go to hell. So how can how can we avoid going to hell? We have to avoid lust, anger, and greed. These three things, very bad. So the, 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 these three things, they actually begin from, the first one is lust. It's the lust which comes first. Lust is the desire to enjoy something separate from Krishna. In the material world, there's no real love, there's only lust. 
ในโลกวัตถุนี้เนี่ยมันไม่มีคำว่ารักมันมีแต่คำว่าราคะ We think how to enjoy the body and how to satisfy my senses. แล้วเราก็จะคิดว่าเราจะทำให้ประสาทสัมผัสของเราเนี่ยมีความสุขได้ยังไง And when we think like that, then we will we will do many kinds of sinful activities. We'll do all kinds of sinful things like. Intoxication, and we want illicit sex, and we go on to gamble and lie and cheat. So when we are successful, when we get some of the things we want, when our material desires are fulfilled. Then we become greedy for more. The when the happiness, the happiness of the senses, we get the happiness of the senses. How much? It will make us have more and more happiness. The man is able to have sex with one woman. Then he looks for another woman to have sex with. When he has the happiness of the senses. Or someone's able to cheat people out of all their money, then he looks for more people to cheat and take their money too. He won't say I have enough. He's greedy to get more. The pain, love, it will not stop. When he has enough, he will look for more people to cheat and take their money too. He won't say I have enough. He's greedy to get more. The pain, love, it will not stop. And for those people who are trying to get material enjoyment but failing, they become angry. The lusty man, maybe he gets put in jail, or maybe he gets. Uh, Maybe he he maybe he gets uh, caught by the people. The no people. The people don't fall for his tricks. They don't let them him cheat them. So he becomes angry. So. We have to be very careful to avoid these things. Sometimes we heard if in the third chapter of the Bhagavad Gita we heard about lust, and we have to be very careful to control that, to conquer that lust, and to purify it. The pure form of lust is love for Krishna, prima. Actually, the word in Sanskrit for lust is kama, and kama can be also love in the spiritual sense. Kama, ah, is tanha, that is. So uh, we have to be very careful to try to regulate the senses and cultivate knowledge. It will help us to control the lust and to purify the lust. Go ahead. Okay. Text twenty-three. He who disregards scriptural injunctions and acts according to his own whims attains neither perfection nor happiness nor the supreme destination. ผู้ที่ยกเลิกคำสั่งสอนของพระคัมภีร์และทำตามอำเภอใจของตนเองจะไม่บรรลุถึงความสมบูรณ์ความสุขหรือจุดหมายปลายทางสูงสุด If we want to avoid lust and anger and greed, 
it will help us to, but to follow the scriptural teachings. But if we don't follow the scriptural teachings, and we just act according to our mind and senses, then we'll get problems. Yeah, if we don't follow the rules and regulations of scriptures, we're going to get attracted to meat eating and intoxication and gambling and illicit sex. And people think these things will make them happy, but they will be very disappointed. They won't find happiness there. Lord Krishna says you won't get perfection, you won't get happiness, and you won't get the supreme destination. The supreme destination means we won't go back to Godhead, we won't go back, we won't get out of the wheel of birth and death. But because we have uncontrolled senses, we have to take another birth in the material world and suffer for our sinful reactions. So we should know what are the scriptural teachings, what, is the, what are the rules and regulations we're supposed to follow. People may say, I didn't know, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to eat meat. But, why, but you go to the court, if you're arrested for some crime, and they say you did this, and, and you say, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to do that. The judge will say, you should have found out, and the judge will still punish you. <laughs> If we have to go to Yamaraj, the god of death, we cannot just plead ignorance and say, I didn't know, I didn't know. Of course, many people don't know, but why don't they know? They don't know because their karma, because of their karma, because of their sinful activities. They're so covered over that they don't get the chance to know. But those people who have good qualities, they're born in a good situation and they get good up, they get the proper education, they know these things from birth. Just like Srila Prabhupada, he was born in a devotee family, so his whole life he never even tasted tea. And 
And his father was a pure devotee. His father was a worshipping deities. And his father had his son trained to be a devotee. He had him trained to play the madanga. And he had his son do Rathiatra, organize Rathiatra for him. And so some people get these kind of births, a good birth. It's not by chance, but it's because of their pious activities from the past life. Go ahead. Yeah, the text 24. One should therefore understand what is duty and what is not duty by the regulation of the scriptures. Knowing such rules and regulations, one should act so that he may gradually be elevated. So we see the scriptures again mentioned that we should be, we have to know what's in the scriptures and what are the, the what is the scriptures teaching us. We can learn what is our duty and what we're supposed to do and what we're not supposed to do by reading the scriptures. So these scriptures, these are part of the Vedas, and these scriptures are like the mother. They tell us everything, just like the mother tells you everything about the father. So the scriptures are like that, they're like a mother. Just like the mother will train the child to respect their father, and so the same way the Vedas train us to respect Lord Krishna. And when we follow these different principles as described in the scriptures, the result is we're we're elevated, we become we come to a higher level of consciousness. So we can be elevated in this very life. We don't have to wait for the next life. In this very life we can be elevated. Some people can be demons, but they can become devotees. They can change by proper education and proper guidance. Just like Srila Prabhupada went to the West and he gave his association to people there, and these people were sinful, they were engaged in many sinful things, but Prabhupada could change them and make them into devotees. So we also want to take advantage of the scriptures and know what the scriptures have to tell us. Yeah. 
So it's very important for us to read these scriptures and to study them and try to understand them. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Here's a, some interesting point mentioned. If you say first of all, in, during Satya Yuga, Satya Yuga is like the golden age, and in, in the Satya Yuga, people lived a very long time and they had very saintly qualities. And so the devotees and the demons were in different planets in that time in the Satya Yuga. Yeah, you can see in the top picture there's the demigods and the demons and they're churning the milk ocean to get the nectar of immortality. And then next yuga is Treta Yuga, and there the demigods and the demons were in different cities, but they were on the same planet. We see Lord Ramachandra appeared in the Treta Yuga with his brothers and they were born in Ayodhya, the city of Ayodhya. But the demons, like Ravan, he was in Lanka. And of course, the demon Ravan, he kidnapped the wife of Lord Ram, and then Lord Ramachandra had to go there to Lanka and fight with the demons and get back his wife. Then the next age, the one before this Kali Yuga, the, the, uh, there was Dwapara Yuga. And in that age, the demons and the demigods were born in the same family. They appeared in the same family. There was both devotee and demons in the same family. We see the five Pandavas, they're born in the same family along with the son Duryodhana and all of his brothers. Duryodhana and his brothers, they're, really, they're demons. The Pandavas, they're saintly people. And we see Kamsa also. Kamsa was a relative of Krishna. Uh, Kamsa was like the brother of Devaki. And Devaki was a very great devotee. The mother, she gave birth to Lord Krishna. And her brother was Kamsa, and Kamsa was a demon. So they were in the same family. But now, coming to this age in the Kali Yuga, we've got the devotee and the demon in the same person. The, the devotee quality and the demon qualities are, they can be in the same person. 
แต่พอมาในยุคปัจจุบันนะคะที่ชื่อว่ากาลียุคนี้เนี่ยทำให้มีทั้งคุณสมบัติความเป็นทิพย์และคุณสมบัติความเป็นมารเนี่ยอยู่ในบุคคลคนเดียว We know Lord s h i t a n y a Well, well, Lord Nityananda got attacked by some demons, two demons, two drunkards. They attacked him, and when they attacked him, then Lord Chaitanya came, and Lord Chaitanya wanted to kill the two demons. But Lord Nityananda stopped him and told Lord Chaitanya that no, in this age you have to be merciful. แล้วก็ตอนตอนเรื่องราวลีลาในอวตารของพระองค์เจ้าเจตเนียนะตอนนั้นเนี่ยสำหรับพระองค์เจ้านิตานันเดเนี่ยมีมารสองคนนะครับซึ่งตอนนี้ท่านเนี่ยจะไปทําการเผยแพร่ปรากฏว่าสองคนนั้นเนี่ยจะทําร้ายพระองค์เจ้านิตานันเดทำให้พระองค์เจ้าเจตเนียโกรธมากและอยากจะสังหารพวกเขาแต่พระองค์เจ้านิตานันเดจะทรงห้ามไว้แล้วก็บอกว่าสําหรับในยุคนี้แล้วเนี่ยคุณจะไม่สามารถฆ่าเขาได้แต่คุณต้องให้เมตตาครับ Lord Nityananda explained to Lord Chaitanya that if you kill these two people, you kill some. You have to kill everybody because in this age, the divine and the demonic qualities are in everyone. So we want to be merciful and try to bring out the the, the good qualities and get rid of the bad qualities from people. And we know the more people chant Hare Krishna and take part in Krishna conscious activities, the more they will develop the good qualities and lose the bad qualities. ก็อย่างที่เราทราบกันนะคะถ้าเกิดว่าบุคคลเนี่ยได้มีส่วนร่วมในการปฏิบัติกิจกรรมในกฤษณะที่สำนึกมากขึ้นเนี่ยมันก็จะทําให้คุณสมบัติที่ดีเนี่ยพัฒนาขึ้นแล้วคุณสมบัติที่ไม่ดีเนี่ยลดเลือนไป Go ahead Okay questions Any questions today ใครมีคําถามไหมคะยังสุมาอ่าชายามาตะดีเชิญเลยค่ะฮัลโหลพิชนาคุรุมาราชตะนบปรนามติสักเซมาฮัมโบออฟิเซสออกอริทูสิลาปุปปาอ่าอาจารย์นะคะ
Krishna Leela, when Devaki have uh, Devaki will miscarry for six kid right? And so this make a what? I don't what? A devotee will what? Make a chariot? Uh no no. Uh Chiavana. Vasudev Devaki. Devaki. Devaki miscarriage. Oh miscarriage, uh huh. Yeah. Uh, six time, right? So that six time represent uh, what it represents to. Yes. Uh, these six sons they represent first of all the five sense objects and then the mind. The five sense objects means the sense of touch, the sense of sight. A hearing, tasting, and smelling, mm. along with oh, the yeah. mind. So six. Okay. So when they're killed, then the pure devotional service can awaken. Then Lord Balaram comes, then Lord Krishna comes. อันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับสองอันดับ
คนทั่วไปเวลาเขาได้รับเงินเนี่ยเขาก็จะเห็นเงินแล้วเขาบอกโอ้ฉันจะได้สนองความสุขกับเงินนี่แล้วแต่ว่าเวลาสาวกได้เงินมาเนี่ยสาวก็จะได้มาแล้วบอกโอ้ฉันจะใช้เงินนี้นะในการรับใช้คริสต์นา So people who are demons who don't want to use things for sense gratification, we have to preach to them. We have to tell them how to use the thing in the proper way, how to use it for purification, not for degradation. <laughs> So the human form of life, you can either go up, you can purify yourself, or you can go down. You can go into the Lord. You can become like an animal. It's up to us. We have that free will. What do you want to do? Somebody wants to be a demon, and somebody wants to be a devotee. Yeah, is that all right, Shaya? Understand? Yes, understand, Guru Maharaj. Thank you for your advice. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay, huh? Ah, uh, come to our position, like. Come, come, come. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Ah, I have a question. I want to ask. 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 แล้วก็ข้อที่สองก็คือการสวดมหามนเนี่ยผมมันจะมีปัญหาเรื่องการสะกดนะฮะที่เป็นตัวนะครับจะศึกษาหรือหรือจะดูจากไหนครับก็ขอคําแนะนําจากครูมหาลาดครับก็ข้อข้อข้อที่สามเนี่ยผมผมไปอ่านเจอมาในมหาภารตะทำไมคานคานคานทาลีเนี่ยถึงสามารถสาปิชนาเนี่ยในในมหาภารตะได้ทั้งที่พิชนาเนี่ยเป็นบุคลิกสภาพอันสูงสุดของพระพุทธเจ้าแล้วก็แต่ให้คนที่เห็นสงครามเนี่ยเป็นคนมาตอบคานทาลีเนี่ยเป็นคนสุดท้ายเพราะว่าคนที่ถูกถูกตัดศีรษะครับแล้วอยู่เหมือนคนยอดขาอุ้งเป็นคนไปตอบครับผมพระพิชนาอืมโอเคอืมกุลมาราช basically he have three question first question is the word asura mean demon is that correct well the word sura means one who is connected to to God to the divine so asura means the not divine So there are two natures. There's the divine nature and demoniac nature. So we can say if they're not divine, they must be demons. Yeah. Man, จะมีคำว่าสุระอยู่นะคะคำว่าสุระเนี่ยคือความเป็นทิพย์หรือการมีการเชื่อมกับพระผู้เป็นเจ้านะพอเติมอักเข้ามาข้างหน้าเป็นอสุระซึ่งมันก็มีความหมายตรงกันข้ามคือธรรมชาติความเป็นมารหรือว่าสิ่งใดที่ Now Prahlad Maharaj was born in the family of demons, but he had he was a very great devotee. Me, เรื่องราวของ Prahlad Maharaj ค่ะซึ่งท่านเนี่ยเกิดในครอบครัวของมารแต่ว่าเป็นท่านเนี่ยเป็นสาวกผู้ยิ่งใหญ่ There, the higher planets, the planets of the demigods, are supposed to be godly there. But we see sometimes the demigods do sinful things. ความจริงเนี่ยโลกสวรรค์จะเป็นโลกที่เราเทวดาเนี่ยอาศัยอยู่ที่นั่น
ซึ่งมันควรมีแต่เทพอยู่แต่ว่าบางครั้งเนี่ยเราก็จะเห็นว่ากิจกรรมที่เราเทพทำเนี่ยมันเป็นกิจกรรมที่ไม่ดีก็มี But generally, the demigods they are obedient to the service of Lord Vishnu. But the demons they are always against Lord Vishnu. But Prahlad Maharaj was born in the demon family, but he was a great devotee of Lord Vishnu. So it's not just by birth you, you, that you become a devotee or a demon. You have to see that we have to see the qualities. Just like we explained about the brahmana, who is a brahmana? It's not by birth. But you have to see the quality and the activities. If somebody is a brahmana, they have to work like a brahmana. Yes. What's the next question? Uh, next question is he said that. He is having little difficulty in reading the uh, Sanskrit even when he is chanting. So, uh, can you recommend him? How can he read it correctly? Well, best way is to hear. Just like at the beginning of the program every evening, we play the recording. Some devotees are chanting the Sanskrit. So, the best thing he can do is to get copies of those things. And he should hear it and, and practice chanting along with them. แต่เรียนกูรุมาราอันแนะนำนะคะบอกว่าให้ลองหาเป็นวิดีโอนะคะที่ก่อนที่คลาสจะเริ่มนะคะเราก็จะมีเปิดวิดีโอที่สอนใน
All right. Okay then. Yes. Next question. เดี๋ยวเชิญมาดาวีภาวนีมาดิเลยค่ะมาดาวีภาวนีเนี่ยเอ่อคริสนากรุมหาราชเดชเอ็กเซตแมฮัมเบอร์ดิเซนเซสออ
Well, we're, we're not pure devotees yet, but we're trying, we're on the path, at least we understand these things and we're practicing and we hope one day we'll become pure devotees. This is a cure for all the disease of material life. Is it all right, Madhava Pavani? Yes, Guru Maharaj, thank you for your answer. Yeah, it's difficult. Materialistic people, they don't like to admit that, <laughs> that they're in Maya. <laughs> they, you know, they're, they're, because they're so attached to their material life. And so they, they don't like to admit that they're wrong. I mean, you're right. Yeah. It's very hard to convince them of that. Mm. You just have to encourage them to chant Hare Krishna, try to do kirtan with them, and let them read the books. Let them read chapter 16. We we're just discussing tonight chapter 16. You can let them read that chapter. The problem is that they're very attached to their material sense gratification. They don't want to hear. That's the problem. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Somebody else? Okay, uh, from Nara Narayana. Nara Narayana. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Sri Prabhupada. Uh, Maharaj, um, uh, if there's only two types of uh, people, the divine and the demoniac, um, and and there's not, nobody in between, but but we have the three modes of material nature working uh, together to create so many types of uh, people. So where to fit them, uh, Maharaj? Well, we said people, they're either divine or they're demoniac. Um, we have to look at their nature, we have to see the qualities, then you can understand either they're divine or they're demoniac. Either they're devotees or they're demons. There's nothing in between. There's nothing else. You're saying there's so many different people, different species of life, and there are three modes of nature. But the three modes of nature are associated. Goodness, goodness is different from passion and ignorance. People in passion and ignorance, they're demonic. Sure. 
but the demigods, the, the demigods are divine, they are associated with the mode of goodness. So those in the mode of goodness, they will have the good qualities. Okay, next question. Gita. Gita. Hare Krishna Dandavat Pranam. Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble office of faith or grace to Shila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, happy as an อ่าคําถามของหนูกับนะคะก็คือเราจะถ้าเราจะพัฒนาการอุทิศตนเสียตลาดอันดับชั้นในคริชนาจิตนะคะเราจําเป็นต้องมีการคบหาสมาคมก
He's always chanting the glories of Krishna and talking about Krishna. He's dedicated to Krishna. And he's always trying to encourage other people also to take up service of Krishna. อุทิศให้กับพระองค์เนี่ยเขาจะมีลักษณะอย่างไรนะคะบางทีก็ใช้กระทรวงอธิบายบอกว่าเขาเนี่ยจะเป็นบุคคลที่ไม่มีความต้